permits. Um, the first one is our serenity springs. This is property located at 277 Media <coughs> Drive. The property is in an office professional. It sits up about one to four acres. It contains, I believe, a five tenant office building right along the Media Drive. Very limited parking. Um, character area is Neighborhood Activity Center for this property. The image shows where it is in relation to the rest of the world. Windermere Drive runs parallel to Oak Street, south of Eagle Road. Um, this property is sort of in the middle of that block. The directly across the street from Lake Hill Place. Um, the property to the east, I think it's first federal. Um, it's been there for a number of years. Subject property, um, they've already started some minor renovation on the inside. So there's parking right along Windermere. Um, other tenants are still occupying the building, of course. The north side is where a bulk of the parking is, and that's actually the largest of the office spaces. Um, they're proposing to occupy Unit B for a flotation therapy facility. We classify this under personal service shops. Um, conditional use is required for personal service shops in an open zone. It's a little bit of an unusual type uh, operation. We talked about this at length at the work session. Um, <coughs> floor plan is only about 800 square feet. It would be a one-person operation that would have no more than two clients at one time on a two-hour rotational basis. One for the therapy session, one for cleaning and preparation of the room. Um, the flotation devices, there's a, several pages in your packet to give information about how this works. Um, looks like a giant egg. Um, to me, it resembles more like a panning booth, except wider, um, but you float in it, and very <coughs> salt water, very therapeutic. Um, the applicant is here who is also a user of this kind of facility, and she will be very glad to tell you all about it and what it has done in a positive way for her and others. Um, it's a very small operation in terms of office use, extra chairs and office building. The parking demand for this is minimal. Uh, parking consumption was the only concern that staff had. <coughs> parking on the site is fairly limited. It does match up for uses with office professional um, or professional office type parking demand. So it fits as long as this does not evolve into a true commercial size operation. Um, so with that, staff has found the request consistent with comprehensive plan, the conditional use review criteria, the gender packet. And we're recommending approval subject to two conditions. The first one, approval shall be granted for a personal services shop in the form of a flotation therapy facility in OP zoning with a total gross split area not to exceed 1,900 square feet. They're proposing 800. This would allow room for expansion, probably the next door tenant space. Um, and if it's beyond that, then we're looking at perhaps a medical type office of the power in what is designed to be a professional type office building. So plenty of room to expand, but not the entire building. Number two, conditional use approval shall expire after two years from the date of approval if the business license for the approved use has been requested by that date. I'd like to try and answer any questions you might have, but I suspect you probably want to direct those to that. Commissioners, any questions for staff? All right, so we'll now open the public hearing for this case. Is there anyone here this evening who would to be in favor of this case? Please come forward and state your name and address, please, for the record. My name is Stephanie Hughes. Address is 6100 Johnson Road, Northwest Hay Harbor, Georgia, 3632. I, I, I mean, he really covered everything. This will be my business. Um, it is going to be located in a building that is owned by my mother. And the largest tenant is my husband's business. He's an accountant. Um, Obviously, most people don't know what this is. If anybody has any questions about it, I'm happy to answer. Yes, sir. Yes. Um, the top one, 
<laughs> Ideally, yes, it does. It, it's the, the design when used the best way possible is um, to float in darkness with the lid closed. But there's ambient lighting inside for anyone who does not want to be in the dark. And um, my daughter, as a matter of fact, she floats with a blue ambient light and she does leave the lid slightly open because it makes her nervous to have it closed. Um, I float in darkness with the lid closed. So it's lots of options. There's uh, relaxation music that is piped into these machines that come from Europe. I have two on a ship right now, <laughs> headed to America, and um, hopefully we'll be in this location. If not, we will be somewhere. So, are there any other questions? <laughs> yes, sir. I've been doing this for two years. I have an autoimmune disease that I've suffered from for almost 20 years. It is one that gets progressively worse as I age. I just turned 50. So... <laughs> It is, um, it, it, I, I, right now I take shots like Humira. Some of you may be available, if you're familiar with Humira. Uh, that's available to me every two weeks. It helps a little bit. It doesn't help a lot. I'm in pain 24 hours a day, seven days a week, unless I go float. My husband and I were on vacation in Florida two years ago, and somebody talked me into trying this. I tried it, I was pain-free completely for a whole week. So I have for two years been driving to either Jacksonville or Tallahassee to do this. Tom Brady has one of these in his home. You all know who Tom Brady is, I'm sure, professional football player. It is great for sports recovery. It is fabulous for people with arthritis. It is great for sports injury. It is uh, very recommended by um, therapists, psychiatrists, for people who suffer from anxiety and stress disorder. So I kept telling my husband, why doesn't somebody in my office to open one? And he finally said, well, that somebody can be you. So, anything else? I know some stuff had nothing to do with this, but it got me interested. So it, it, it's, it's a salt water base. Yes, sir. Is, is it in like a jet in it, that massage or anything? It, it, no, it's magnesium. Primarily, um, it is got a filtration system that keeps the water circulating constantly. The reason for that is it's restaurant quality cleanliness. This will be cleaner than your bathtub at home. It is cleaner than any public pool by far because the micro level and the magnesium that is in this water, bacteria literally cannot live in this. So water is circulating, but it's not like a jacuzzi. The idea is really um, more of a still sensation, but you do float absolutely unassisted in this water. It's only 10 inches deep, and you float like you're in the clouds, sort of, I guess is the best way to describe it. <coughs> Any other questions for Ms. Hughes? <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Hughes. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Is there anyone else here who would like to speak in favor of this text? Is there anyone here who would like to speak against this case this evening? Is that given? We will close the public hearing portion on this case. And the Chair will entertain a motion. Mr. Chair. Yes. Case CQ Additional use permit for personal service shop in the OT zone district. Uh, this request has been found to be consistent with the company's plan and condition of use review criteria. And I would like to recommend what we recommend approval, uh, including the two conditions. All right, there's a, there's a motion for approval by Commissioner Wiles on CU 2021 06. Right, right. Is there a second? Second. In favor of the motion, please raise your hand. Any opposed? Motion 